Okay, this is a bit of a, a trick trick combo here. He's hit me with the left hook. Right. And I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> so far. <laughs> he's hit me with a right hook, and off the right hook, what he's really doing with my head is chasing me this way into the shot. Now, generally, when uh, an orthodox fighter, especially, do hit a, a fighter, a kickboxer, if I hit you with a left hook, I'm pushing me to this lane. Well, Bone is um, gonna add a little something, something on it, a little sweetness on it. So he's gonna throw his, excuse me, his right hook, chase my head into that hook kick. All right, make a bit of a wedge, a little scissor, scissor action here. Oh, there's his shot. And he's gonna the hook. Oh, oh, there's his kick. And he's gonna hook. Good show. Real kind of um, martial art, point fighting style, but then again, the style of kickboxing that that I teach and, and that um, uh, the way that we approach it is um, a very eclectic style. You can't say that, well, I'm fighting Muay Thai fight, fighters, so I'm only going to use Muay Thai techniques, or I'm fighting kickboxers so just above the waist, or, or, or however, you know, the guys are kicking. Um, from Sensei Benny to Jet, Rikides, to my senseis back in Edmonton, Alberta, um, Tom Force, Trader, Doug Dunn, Bob Sabine Jr., Bob Sabine Sr., um, we've always, uh, I've always, again, been lucky mind you guys, to come from a very eclectic background where boxing was always a part of it, um, traditional karate, uh, taekwondo kicks, Muay Thai kicks, and, and mixing all this up into a gumbo has always been my style. And uh, it's proven effective for myself, but um, not just myself, I mean, look at fighters all over the world. The guys uh, right now, in the, even in the MMA, the boys are very good uh, Muay Thai fighters, and some taekwondo background, and some boxing background, and great grappling. Those kids are almost unbeatable. And uh, that's the way, really, of, of, uh, of, of fighting these days. Anyways, here we go.